Hi, YouTube fam. It's Miss J in the Bazaar. And I'm back with another mukbang. Oh, the way I am hungry. So, today on the menu, because one of my Japanese students asked me, what do we eat in Africa for breakfast? I did tell them I showed them a break in the mind. Teach what we eat. So, I got some oranges. I like my oranges. And I got a cup of rubber tea. I like it with no milk. And her, well, you can't see because I'm. Hot. Hot, hot. I got the mushrooms and fried mushrooms, some bananas, an egg, and a salad. I'm gonna have some bread. I'm having with some bread. My trusty H2O. You know. So yeah, I'm like stopping. I am stopping. I'm putting some rama on the bread. I am putting some rama on the bread. So YouTube fam, how have you been doing? I hope you're all good. I hope you're all well. Yo. So, um, this is my first meal of the day. Right. Main foot in the door. That's how we start our mornings when we chow our breakfast. I just need to soak my bread in the gravy. You know, from the tomato gravy, I need to soak my bread in that juiciness. I can't give you guys this bites, but you know, I have it for you. TikTok is stuck in my head. Forgive me, guys. Forgive me. Vienna. And the mushroom. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, y'all. You know. Gonna make sure it's a healthy, fulfilling breakfast. I'm gonna get to my egg. I'm gonna get to my egg. Look at that. I made it an omelette. So guys, how have you been doing? What have you all been up to? Um, yesterday, I went to a cancer awareness campaign. And it was so informative, guys. You know, as a young generation. Well, not like as the, the Ben 10s and Ben, ben 5s. I don't know. But as a younger generation, we need to, to learn all these things. We need to take advantage of all these opportunities that we have. <clears throat> uh, 
little bit hot but you know me we need to take advantage of these opportunities because we never know in life when they will come into play especially in our lives and affect us in a certain way Give me that pamphlet, that cancer pamphlet from yesterday, please. Okay. I just want to show you no. cancer. Breast cancer, yeah, that one. Right. So it wasn't only cancer, but it was breast cancer, and you know. So this is what I attended yesterday. And this is the organization. Um, I attended it in my local area. And that's the number there for cancer, if anyone's ever interested. Obviously, this is Durban numbers, South African numbers. Um, and I must say, it was very informative, very interesting. I learned a lot just by attending this. Um, I have signed up to attend more. I'm hoping that I can attend them like with my schedule and stuff but it's basically i think like two hours max once a week you know um and like i said we can all benefit from it one way or another because even if it doesn't affect us personally it can affect somebody that we know and there were speakers there and there was one lady that stood out for me and she spoke about her husband that had passed away due to cancer. And she said, you know, all you need to do is, you never know what the next person is going through. And that's true. People don't talk, you'll never know. So just be kind, you know. Smile at them, listen to them, offer them a helping hand. You don't have to help them financially. Not everything is about that. You know, it's just the simple things that can change a person's day or their mood. And that's what it boiled down to. But there was so much that we got to speaking about. There was, what is it? They spoke about mammograms. They spoke about, what's this other one that women's supposed to go for all the time? Damn. Let me just check that. Uh, give me that other paper, that brown paper that was there with, a, with all the speakers' names on it. There was, there was another one. Oh, what is this thing called? A pap smear. A pap smear. That's what it is. So they were speaking about how important pap smears are, especially for us females. Um, you know, it's important for us to check out ourselves. And then, oh, excuse me. Um, there's another one here. We spoke about lung cancer. And like I've spoken and I've mentioned the fact that I have recently quit smoking. It's like two months now. Um, and it would be great for me just to go and check up, you know, I've been smoking on and off for what, from the age of 16, maybe even 15, I was in high school, you know, I was experimenting, so, um, not only smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, not that I have an issue with it, but still, you know, so I've stopped smoking, I would like to find out more information um they spoke about one uh, campaign they had last week where they were speaking about dementia that i would have loved to attend because we will all have somebody in our family at some stage that will suffer from dementia and dementia is something very serious not only for the sufferer but for the carer you know it's 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 a lot it, it takes your your mental, you know, it, it's it's a hell of a lot. Like, I don't know anybody personally. Uh, 
that's like really suffered with dementia not any of my family members but i know of my family members a further family members if that's the correct word like people that they looked after in my family there's caregivers as well so i know those people i've got friends and you know you see on social media people with dementia they forget they get lost they they lose things you know so it just gives you the upper hand in life to understand what the next person is going through and even if you are not affected by it you know just being there for the person listening to them understanding them being a helping hand uh, a friend whatever you want to call it um you know it's important especially with the world that's ever so changing and people have so many concerns other than the normal simple things in life um so yeah for me that was that was awesome I can say I put my name down, I do want to attend. And I hope I can attend with like almost everyone. But if I can't, then you know. It's one of those things. And we can't look down on people that have these diseases or sicknesses. They never asked for it. I will upload some pics in the video, you know, about the people speaking. There was, <clears throat> so cancer was there. M-L-L-L-P. I think that's who they are. Um... There were two cancer groups that were there. These ladies. And then this group. So yeah. It was very informative. I learned a lot. I enjoyed it, you know. And listening to different people's stories opens your mind. You know? We need that sometimes. I'm gonna stab somebody. <laughs> I'm joking, it's my son. He's itching on the other side of me, but he's making so much noise. Oh, my God, this tea is lovely. So, yeah. I, I really enjoyed that campaign yesterday. And also ladies, you know, we need to go and get ourselves checked up. We need to, especially because October is Breast Awareness Month, Cancer Month, you know. We need to check our girls and make sure everything is in order. We need to look after ourselves. We can't depend on others. You know. Men as well. We spoke about men. Prostate cancer. You know. All the different cancers that affect the body. And it's serious. So. Ladies. Men. Check yourselves. Get, go to the doctor. Get tested. There were a couple of elderly guys that spoke yesterday. And it was very touching to hear their stories, you know. Like, their lives aren't over, but I mean, there's not much they can do. They're not like us. When we're so young, and we can do many different things. And they were very open and they spoke about it. So, you know, I think that was something awesome. That was something good that we have the elders in the community come forward and speak about their experiences and how they're dealing with things. There was another young, well, not a young lady, but, you know, she she was 
kind of middle aged and she spoke about her mum had cancer and her sister has it and how she's looking after her sister and her whole life is on hold because now she has to take care of her sister you know and she wishes she could have somebody that she can talk to or, or relieve her of her duties but she doesn't have anyone and and it takes on your mental well-being you know so yeah I need to do that TikTok. Mushroom fried in butter. I'm acting cray cray. You'll know when I eat good food, I act cray cray. So this morning I did a TikTok at four o'clock in the morning. Like I had nothing better to do. And unfortunately, TikTok didn't approve it. But y'all, I put it on my Facebook. <laughs> it was that clown, you know. Now, yeah, that same crazy one. Hmm. Stuck in my head. Man. Um. I need to redo it. So that I don't get banned on TikTok. But not banned, but my video don't get approved. Community, what, what it's in. No. I need to address. <clears throat> we'll be able to do it in a certain way. I don't know. Community standards. That's it. Community standards. Um. Oh, yes. The card is in my wardrobe. So, yesterday... I went to sweet butter rolls. Um, bakery. This is local in our area. And I got some treats there. Ooh! Child! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, when I went in the shop already, I went like a child. The lady was laughing at me. <sighs> Yo. So, I went to that shop yesterday and I didn't know what I wanted. You know, like a child when they walk into a toy store, you just don't know what you want. So I went Google Gaga. There was an article, article. <laughs> there was something called a no bake. That was flippin' delicious. That was like chocolate heaven last night. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, Excuse me. Um, they are chocolate brownie. I will eat that whole tray of chocolate brownies. 
you can see I ain't chocolate. And I ain't brownie. Well, I'm a little bit of a brownie. <laughs> Not that brownie, but this brownie. So, um, yeah. The chocolate brownie was like... The fresh cream donut... It didn't hit my spots. It was nice, but it didn't hit my spots. Um, as I said, that no bake. And I had a red velvet cupcake. That was nice. And the cotton square. Mm, child, the cotton square was delicious. Mm. And I must say, the size and the price is worth it. It's definitely worth it. So yeah. Um I'll also be linking that video. You know, you can you can see it here on my YouTube page. But it's definitely worth it. They are situated in Winford, in Clinic Road, opposite Postable Spa. It's all there. Delicious. Tasty. Tasty, tasty, tasty treats. Next time I go there. I am going alone. So whatever I buy, I don't have to share. <laughs> this rainbow tea is delicious. I love rainbow tea with my breakfast, you know. It makes me feel like I'm a poshy cold. Whatever I wash it is, I feel like I wash it here. <laughs> and then I get this chutney of my and it's new with that every time I eat it. Yo. Anyway. Guys. Guys and girls, girls and guys. Whatever, wherever, however. Remember, you are important in this life. Even if you don't feel it and nobody tells you. You are important to someone out there. Who I can't tell you. Because I ain't living your life, but... You are important. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. <coughs> Swallow that chili all the way down to my girl. This bloody song is. <clears throat> I'm going to delete TikTok. <laughs> I don't know who I'm bluffing. But yeah, on a serious note, guys, like I said, young ladies, get yourself tested. Young boys, Go and check yourselves out. Don't be scared. Don't wait till it's too late and you can't do nothing about it. You know? It's important. We only got one life to live. And we must make the most of their life. Hmm? 
Monday is back to school. I'm so damn happy. Ever since my son is at home, he thinks I'm his piggy banks. Bye, 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 bye. Hi, bye, 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 bye. That's my niece in the background. So it's delicious. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. I think I don't snap. And you know me, I love dancing. I love shaking my booty. And yes, I was the chef. I am always the chef, you know. I had my bread on my serviette. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm joking. And a big shout out to Kantu. Where are my Kantu products? They're on the other side. Kantu, this is the third day. I must let you know. I must give you a big shout out. This is the third day. My samples video, I uploaded it. Those two little small articles. One was a leave-in conditioner. And the other one, uh. excuse me. Well, you'll know what video I'm talking about. <clears throat> this is three days. And look at my heat. Still full of curls. Okay, I'm making it stand because I'm trying to show y'all. But look at that. Still full of curls, not bushy. And I've been sleeping with my hair like this. Add a little bit of water. Touch up a little bit with the leave-in conditioner, you know, if it's looking bad, but it's not. Okay, maybe in the back. I want some donsies over here. Don't hate. You know, we all got that one patch of hair that, especially if you are colored, you know. Whether it's yeah in the front or yeah in the back or yeah in the middle, you know, our cousins that we need to look after. Nango. They were there's my cousins here. But anyway, Kansu, you are doing the things. My first time using the Kansu products, and I must say I am highly, highly impressed. I can't do you know that whole finger twirly dungachi article. I wanted to and I tried it, but I failed dismally. So I won't even attempt it anytime soon. Maybe I need to get them perm rods. Hey, but I'm scared of that, eh? Now my hair get naughty and I need to comb it. I don't like my hair to be pulled. <laughs> yeah, with a comb. I don't like my hair to be pulled with a comb. But yeah, you know, can too. Go on to one of the things. And plus, too, you know, when I'm walking on the road, my hair is like outstanding. Especially with the purple here yeah, in the back and the blue. Well, it's a different shades of blue, especially when the sun hits. So people are like, oh girl, what you using in your hair? I'm like, Kantu, darling, Kantu. So yeah, Kantu. Mm. Mm. 
Delicious, just nice and sweet. Thank you, you're not doing the things. Well done, well done. I shall give it to you. Not that I ever doubted your product. It's just I've never used the product. And that's me. When I don't use something, I don't know it. I can't speak about it. I can speak about it and I can vouch for it myself. You know? I know you're looking for some brand ambassadors. I can be one. You know? Hi! This is my demo. Time to. I'm available. I want to be the brand ambassador. <laughs> what was it? Road, 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 road to kind to SA. Healthy hair journey. Article, blah, blah, blah. I can do it. I got a big map. I got a big map. Hey, <laughs> I can speak about my hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Guys, I'm gonna eat my oranges now. I eat my oranges. Eat your vegetables. I'm chowing my fruit, my vitamin C. Cause I ain't getting out of vitamins. <laughs> I'm joking. Guys, it was lovely chatting to you all. I missed you all. I told you guys I've been busy. It's been a little bit hectic. And you know, with school holidays, the little rats being at home. You know, the rats. I got big rats. <laughs> Not those small rats. I got big rats that like to eat. So, you know, gotta sort them out. This one here across the table from me is looking at me like the biggest rat of all. But, guys, thank you so much. It was lovely chatting to you. I shall see you soon. Peace. Enjoy the week ahead.